Welcome to Visionscape's 3D Fence Tool tutorial. For this video, we'll be going over how to set up and configure a fence using our smart tools, along with some additional tips to help you enhance your fence designs. Let's get started. First, let's draw a fence into the scene. Click on the Fence Tool in the Building tab, then click within the Perspective Grid to add points and create a shape. Fences can work as both open and closed shapes, but they cannot use any of the smooth or bezier corner types that most of the other shape-based tools can. You can still transfer shapes and use paste shape commands and shapes from the shape tab of the property panel, although in both cases, all corners will be converted to hard corners. Note that if you draw the fence over uneven topography, the straight sections of the fence will angle upwards to adapt to the height of the next point. If you would prefer more of a fence panel style configuration, click on the Stepped option in the Boards tab of the Fences Properties panel. You can follow up on this by tweaking the Post Spacing attribute in the Posts tab to control the length of each panel. On that note, Let's get a little deeper into fence configuration. The quickest way to get started with a fence design is to choose a style from the fence style catalog. Clicking the thumbnail in the properties panel will present you with a catalog of style presets, letting you choose from a range of preset configurations that apply to the entire fence. The components of the fence can then be swapped in and out by clicking the thumbnails in the posts, boards, and caps tabs of the properties panel. All of these components derive their materials from the fence material attribute, allowing you to configure the entire fence surface color at once. Digging a bit deeper, there are a few important configuration options in the Preferences panel to be aware of. There are actually two height controls for fences that work independently from each other, one on the Posts tab and the other on the Boards tab. If you'd like to control which side of the rail boards are generated on, you can flip the direction with the Rail at Front option on the Rail tab, or force the boards to stagger the rail with the Shadow Box option on the Boards tab. The rest of the options will give you sizing and spacing parameters for the individual components themselves. Finally, if you're looking to finalize your fence, Consider adding a fence gate using the gate tool. Gates can be added to a fence in much the same way deck stairs can be added to decks, letting you attach a gate to a user-defined section of the rail spline. You can change the type of gate from the style thumbnail, and you can change the materials of the gate if any options are present. This wraps up our quick start tutorial on using the fence tool. For more information on this and other smart tools, check out our online help documentation and other tutorials. Or, download a template from our template library to see live examples of this and other smart tools in action.